So the game I'm playing today is called Riddle Transfer. This game is the continuation of the Riddle School series that we finally finished about a week ago. I have no idea what the premise of this game is because the game doesn't appear to have a description on Newgrounds, but I assume that it takes place after the events of Riddle School 5. And with that being said, how about we just get right into it? I mean, I can't really think of anything else to say before uh, starting this game. Alright, well let's just play. Let's just get going right away. All right, John Bro, John Bro presents. Okay, don't don't start messing up my English right away. A new grounds game. Okay, well we have an interesting little intro in in outer space. Okay, yeah, this was back in Riddle School Five when we when we destroyed uh, Viz, I think his name was Diz, stereotypical alien. Well, now that your world is saved and our sadistic leader Viz is gone from the universe, what do you all plan to accomplish when you return to your life on Earth? Zack, human fireplace. Uh, personally, I plan to find a cure for this fever I've developed. Drinking a couple thousand gallons of ice water might help a little. Smiley, eager scholar. I'll continue my search for knowledge and use what I know to help others. Reading the encyclopedia might be fun. Fred, helping hand. I haven't really thought about what I'll do when I get back. I guess what I'll do when I get back is think of what I'll do when I get back. And Phil, stalwart leader. As for me... Oh, w what happened? What's going on? Why are we stopped? Something is controlling the ship. Oh god, did, did Viz actually not die? Wait, what is this? Uh... What, what, what exactly is going on here? It's taking us off course. Okay, what, what, what exactly is happening? Okay, well, I guess I guess we're not going to Earth then. Something is is what the heck is this? Okay, wow, never never in my life have I ever seen a flash game lag before. Okay, some sort of laser. Uh, did did we land on Earth or are we? Oh, Zone 5.1. Is this like Area 51? Oh my God. Okay, what are we going to do? Okay, well the FBI is is breaking down our our ship, guys. Uh, Phil, think of something. D do something. Uh, well, this is not good. Okay, we've we've all been arrested apparently. <laughs> well, okay then. I I have no clue what the heck's even happening right here. Okay, are we are we gonna escape jail, guys? Phil Entry IFO landing. Well, I was hoping for a new beginning. I just didn't think it would look like this. Hmm. Well, this is Riddle Transfer. I guess we're gonna break out of a prison. Alright, this is this is giving me reminders of uh, the Henry Stickman games. Yeah, we're we're gonna be breaking out of prison, guys. Alright. Right right in my right up my alley right here. To be safe, I'm gonna make sure I don't even touch that mirror. Seven years of bad luck wouldn't go well with my two major back to back abductions. Ever since the glorious invention of the hand sanitizer, I've rarely used sinks. An uncomfortable pillow, it's better than a plastic bag. Monkey poster, a poster that says, Can I throw a monkey at you? Sure, as long as he means the monkey doesn't throw anything at me. This vent has nothing in it. Preposterous. Usually there's a roll of toilet paper or a rubber band or something. Uh, okay, well, we can't open the vent right now. I don't think this toilet has been flushed in a while. The flusher? It's a flusher! Dial pad? Oh. Uh... Phil can barely reach it, right? I might need to get some sort of object in order to in order to hit that. I can't see the label above that door from here, therefore I don't know it exists, or therefore I didn't know it exists. Oh, television, seven eight two two five. Uh, seven eight two five five. Okay. Well, at least I know which which number to to hit. But the only thing is that Phil can't reach it. I'd really love to just waltz out of the room. It's just there's kind of a thick wall of glass and a heavy security door in my way. Uh, exquisite bedding? How considerate of the facility agents to give me such fine bedding as this paper-thin bed sheet. Okay. Um, well, there's gotta be, gotta be something in here. Has to be. If I can't reach the dial pad, I need, I probably need some sort of, some sort of item here. Try, try not to overthink this here. I can't flush the toilet. Oh wait, the toilet lid? Uh, things. I can't tell if they're doohickeys, doodads, or whatchamacallits. Uh, ball float? Ravishing decor. Okay, can't do anything with that. Graffiti. This graffiti matches my thoughts at the moment. Uh, the flusher handle. 
I'm going to steal this from the can, cause I can. Alright, maybe we can use this to, uh, hit the dial pad. Okay. Well, it said 78255, right? So, let's just go and open this door. And we're just gonna break out of here. Let's, let's just get the heck out. Uh, subjects, please wash your hands before escaping. I've seen people wash their hands in lighter fluid and light it to get rid of germs before. I'm not trying that because I remember when Chubb tried to burn fat the same way. It didn't work. Alright, uh, can we, can we just leave? Okay, yeah, we can. I like thundering rainstorms of death, except for the thundering and storms of death parts. Okay, so I like rain. Uh, what is, what is this rotating thing on top? Like, rotating lights or something. Okay, there's three different ways we can go, and there's nothing else we can click on. Uh, how about we try the storage room first, just to see what we can find. What a storage room, nothing is stored at all. A blank sticky note, I guess someone wanted to make sure they didn't forget something and forgot anyway. Uh, wait, I can, I can click on these right here. Yeah, they, they actually do something, what, what is this? Oh. Okay, what, what exactly am I doing here? I'm like, creating some sort of line. Okay, elevator key? Um... Okay. I don't know what I could use that for, but that's probably gonna be important for something later. Nails and string. That's, that's literally all it is. Alright, well, good thing I went to storage room, because I did find something. Uh, how about we try going down this long hallway, perhaps? What is this? Goatman sign. I wonder why there's a hyphen in the name Goatman. It makes it look like a Newgrounds username, but that would be absurd. This thing says Creature Communicator on the side. That sounds potentially useful. Okay, that was, that was an item. Can I use it on Goatman right here? Hey, Goat Guy. Hello, what's up? Okay, there's a bunch of new options. Why is there a man at the end of your name? How are you today? If it's not too personal, where do you do your business? What's that random pipe-looking thing on the ceiling? Why do you have a smoke detector? Why do you have a brother named Billy? I guess maybe we'll try all of them. No idea, I'm really just a goat. I was having the time of my life eating grass and strange mushrooms. Then I was taken away, mistaken for a mythical creature. So you were... Kidnapped? I hate puns. Yeah, I do too, but I keep making them, so I, I pretty much hate myself. How are you today? I'm sad. Grass is my favorite thing to eat in the whole world, but this grass tastes so bland. It isn't anything like the grass I used to eat. It's enough grass to last, to last a lifetime, sure, but what's the point if it doesn't taste like grass? You just said grass five times. Anyway, I really can't relate to your problem, but I'd like to help out. If it's not too personal, where do you do your business? I don't do my business here in the grass. No grass deserves that. There's a great little drain in the ground that flushes itself automatically. I'd show it to you, but it's off screen. I'd rather not see it, to be honest. What's that random looking pipe thing on the ceiling? I don't know, but occasionally soda cans and cereal boxes fall out of it. That's really random. Are the cans and boxes empty? Every time. Always disappointing. Why do you have a smoke detector? The smoke detector is there so I can be spared if the grass starts burning. I really care more about the grass than I care about myself, though. That's probably not a good sign, but whatever. You have a brother named Billy? I hate puns. Okay, well, I guess I'll communicate with you later, because i that's literally all of the, uh, the dialogue options. Santa theory. Santa doesn't hide, Santa seeks, Santa always seeks. Wow, the people here don't know what tapioca is? It's... hmm, I don't know either. I think that too must be connected to another part of the building, that or it's just a substanceless cylindrical object protruding from the ceiling. Cigarettes should be called chokes instead of smokes. Accident counter? Impressive. Most of the days since last accident counters I see are dangling on wires from the wall. No way out. That looks like a really bad omen. I hope it's for the goat and not for me. In the ladder, fun fact, goats can't climb ladders. Well, I mean, in Goat Simulator they can. But this game was made long before Goat Simulator. This game came out in 2011. Um, let's see here. Well, I already went down here, so I guess we'll go to the left next. F2, September. Today is Zone 5.1, Guard Agent's Annual Day Off. That was lucky. Oh, okay, the guards have a day off, I see. Um, elevator buttons. Well, I do have the elevator key. Can I, can I go in here? Uh, F1? Well, I do have a key. Okay, so there's different floors I can go to. I'm apparently on F2. Uh, F1, nothing happened. I think I need to use a key. Yeah, hang on a second. I need to put the key in first. I think I can access all the floors now. Alright, let's see here. We're on F2 right now. So, how about we go to the first floor and see what we can find here. Uh, alright. Three different paths yet again. Go down here first. Who the heck is this? Big Toe. Good day, sir. Meep. Oh, right. Creature communicator. Salutations, young gentlemen. Of what subject shall we speak on this fine day? Are you fond of crumpets? 
Alas, crumpets are but a faint memory for this old hominid. They were treasures to behold when paired with the tea leaves of what once was my forest. It was the day the Black Guard men captured me that I sipped my very last butt of tea. Unjust judgment, like, can be at the present like no other. Okay. <laughs> it just doesn't care. How do you do? My apologies, but perhaps could you specify the nature of your inquiry? What is your mood at this particular moment? I feel lonely, as I generally do, which is a logical emotion because I'm alone most of the time. I should say that I'm less lonely with you here, but you literally blend in with the scenery. Um, okay, so what about, what are your emotions in the grand scheme of things? I'm concerned about unlawful courtrooms and the government's capitalistic stance. The widening hole in the ozone layer frightens me, as well as the limited oil in the Earth's soil. Remind me never to ask you about that again. I'll be happy to oblige. Okay, what about the other one? I'm afraid I cannot specify. In that case, I'll say there are a few joys greater than hearing nails against a chalkboard. I've always been one to answer every question asked to me, even, even if my reply is not relevant. Are you responsible for the trimming of your big toenails? Strange though it may seem, my toenails do not grow. My feet never feel any pressing discomfort with tennis shoes on. Someone of your intellect surely has a wondrous hobby. I'm fascinated by fancy hats. It is my dream to wear a hat that boldly proclaims, I am a fancy hat. Well, fancy pants proclaim, run fast, run fancy. That sounds intriguing too, but I'd still much prefer a fancy hat. Uh, get bent, monkey dude. Psh, you ain't got no power over me, punk. I do what I want to do. Uh, might I ask what the purpose of your smoke detector is? Surely you jest. The walls are almost completely coated with wood and vegetation. Oh, I was only wondering if it had any other purposes. I do use it as a dinner plate sometimes. Telly ho, chimp chap. I shall wish for your safety, good fellow. Big toe sign, I wonder if there's a pinky toe too. She used to live in my forest, but I think now she's one of Santa's elves. Uh, anything else I can hit here? I had to replace the batteries in the smoke detector once. It took four hours. Um... Well, okay then. Doesn't seem like there's anything else of importance here, so I'll just I'll just leave for now. Go down here. Oh, here's our here's our ship. This is the only one who can fly this ship. I'll have to free him along with all of my friends. Not that I want to free him anyway, but he does have the remote that controls the ship, as well as the ability to not crash. These things kind of make him important. That looks like a logical exit. I'll need to gather my friends and have this fly us out of here. All right, so we'll have to come back here later then. At least I know where the ship is now. That picture of the sun is so bad, it's almost blinding. I actually think it's decent, but that wouldn't have made for a very good joke. Okay, who's in here? Oh, Smiley. Oh, Smiley has hair now. Hey, Phil! Whoa, uh, hi, Smiley. I'm guessing you want to ask about my hair. Well, yes, seeing as you didn't have any hair just yesterday. So, why do you have hair? It's not like there's much to do when you're stuck in a little prison cell. So I used a can of hairspray that's over there to pass the time. I'll admit, I'm a bit nervous about what people will think of me now that I have hair. I'm no fashion expert, but I say it looks nice. Well, thanks. You're welcome, but more importantly, we still need to get you out of this prison cell place. If you need anything from me, I guess I'll be here. Can't with the ability to spray liquid that magically makes your hair grow quickly. I can't comprehend how people are able to invent and distribute whimsical goods like this. Think breaking a mirror like that would give you more than seven years of bad luck. That would be a mistake to reflect on, I'm sure. Uh, indoor outhouse. Motivational poster, the person who put that poster in this room has great taste. Seize the day, go back to bed. Um, energy drink, poo classic. Poo classic, caffeine-free diarrhea. No energy drink company should sell man-made drinks. Alright, well, there's a label. Smiley, I never knew your last name was Sunday. Yep, I boycotted eating Sundays to avoid cannibalism. Shocked face, that was a joke, by the way. Alright, so there is a key missing on this, on this dial pad. The three is missing. Okay. Well, I have no idea what, uh, what the, uh, like, the keypad code for, for Smiley's, uh, prison cell is, so I have no idea how to, how to get her out, unless, well, hang on a second, let me, let me try something here. Okay, no, none of, none of this works. Okay, well, I'll have to come back maybe later. Um, how about we go back into the elevator for now, then, and maybe go to, uh, the very top floor? Floor F3? Let's go up here. See, maybe maybe Fred's up here, I'm not really sure. But there's a pig that we can talk to, flying pig. Hey, pig. Alright. Creature communicator? Oh, hello. What's shaking bacon? Right now, I'm as free as a bird in a birdcage. Pig, I think you and I would probably make really good friends. Can you really fly? I'm not an expert, but I can fly. Just a guess, you run into things a lot. It really ruffles my feathers, yes. I guess the hog wild is as reckless as it sounds. Where'd you used to live? There's a cloud in the sky that never moves. Atop that inactive cloud is the majestic kingdom of Porktop, home to all the world's flying pigs. Oh, so that's where you live. 
Actually, no, I live in a house next to it. I've been here for about two hours. I'd like to make sure I didn't leave the stove on. How are you captured? I was half asleep sitting just outside this building, and some guy carried me inside. Then he locked me up here and made me eat like a pig. That's a pretty pathetic way to be captured. How exactly do you eat like a pig? I know my etiquette, but the guy didn't offer me silverware or even a napkin. I had to use my feet. Sure, it was fun, but not exactly clean. Don't you think you could squeeze through those bars? I've tried. And? I'm too fat. Oh. Some say pork is- some- some that say pork is the meat of kings. Hogwash. And that's all we can- we can ask him. I've never seen a pig with wings until today. Maybe I just haven't been paying much attention. It's a door with no handles, hinges, or anything else you normally find on a door. It also doesn't open and there's no way to unlock it. Maybe it's not a door. Can I break this open? Hitting a board like this isn't going to break it. I think I'll need the powers of the elements. Oh, okay. We're gonna use magic at some point, I guess. I don't even know. What does this room have? Oh, okay. What is... This is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is actually liquefied grass, and it never expires. I tried one once when I had $200 for a soda machine, and it tasted exactly like grass. The symbol on that trash can makes me wonder if it's a trash can. I saw someone get their hand stuck in a toaster once, then I saw 10 fire engines in a police car. Chocologs, they float in the bowl! One of the best things about not having hair is that I'm never going to get a bowl cut! Oh my god. Okay, refrigerator? The refrigerator has a rubber chicken and six, squeak six squeaky toy mice inside of it. Game? From the creators of the spherical stone dartboard, ranked number one party item of the year. And the clock? It's an analog clock that shows what time it is in all the time zones. Considering it has 12 identical hour hands, I don't see how it's useful. That looks like a waste of money. Christmas lights? The holiday season isn't for another three months. Okay, well, at, at the time this, this game takes place, apparently. So I guess this takes place in September or something, like the game itself. Even though this game w What the heck was that? <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. He just he just gets uh, splashed with with chlorophyll when I when I click on the drink dispenser. Okay, probably need I'm probably gonna need like something to put that in, like maybe a cup or something. So I, I guess this game takes place in September or something. Even though this game was actually uploaded in June of 2011, I read a really weird poem once that had to do with puppies melting from the heat of the sun. It was called Hot Dogs. Uh, oh Zach, how are you doing? Hi Zach. Yeah. How are you today? I'm a little tied up at the moment, not a whole lot I can do. You have to burn the rope. I've tried that, the flames on my head just don't reach the rope. Keep trying, you're on fire. Joy. Why are you strapped to a shower curtain pole? The guys who put me in here decided I was literally too hot for them to handle. Basically, I've been rendered helpless for safety reasons. Things must be really starting to heat up! Would you like any third degree burns? Please, take mine. That sounds great, but I'm not hungry. What are some fun facts about you that I don't already know? Interesting question. My favorite color is red, I never tie my shoes, I hate playing dodgeball, pigeons freak me out, and I'm allergic to daisies. Just how allergic? Do you shake up, throw up, perk up, swell up, break up? I just sneeze. It probably seems anticlimactic, but it's apparently pretty bad now. Before I got tied to the ceiling, I sneezed once and my whole body burst into flames. Spontaneous combustion from sneezing. The possibilities with that are endless. Do you know what the code for your cell door is? The code is five digits. The digits are one, two, three, four, and five, but not necessarily in that order. The first digit plus the second digit is equal to the third digit. The second digit is two times the first digit. The second digit is half the fourth digit, and the fifth digit is the sum of the first and fourth digits. I'm not enjoying this game, Zach. Yeah, ni neither am I. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Well, I mean, I know, I know his pa his uh, like the password for the dial pad to get to get Zach out of here. Also, his name is Zach Kelvin. Zack has traveled where no man has gone before. He's been on both ends of the thermometer. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, vent? I'm kind of paranoid about legions of rats pouring out of the vents in the ceiling. Maybe that pile of monkey dolls got here through the vent. Judging from the general emptiness of this room, I'd say these monkey dolls ate everything. Oh, wait a second. I'm realizing what what he just said. No, he's 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 deliberately trying to make me overthink this. No. He said the, fourth, the, the second digit was half the fourth digits, because four minus two is two. Like, half of four is two. First and second digits equal to the third digit. One plus two is three. Yeah, you're you're just messing with me, Zach. Okay, it probably is one, two, three, four, five, isn't it? Yeah. Stop stop messing with my brain here. Yep, the code's just a simple rising set of consecutive numbers. Out of curiosity, how could you have known what the code was? It was written on the side of the door. Okay, well, I mean, we can go in, right? Uh, oh wait, no, this is this is not what I wanted to do. Okay, now. The only thing is that Zack is tied up here, so... I have to find a way to free him somehow, but at least I... 
At least I have it open. It's open! Alright, well, I guess I'll have to leave Zack in here for now, but I mean, at least I got his door open. But I don't think there's really anything else I can, I can do about this right now. Can I? No, I don't. I don't think there is, so... Yeah. I'll have to leave him alone for now. Uh, I guess in that case, we'll try going to uh, the basement now. Considering we haven't been here yet. Maybe Fred's on, on this uh, floor. I don't really know. The negotiable snowman. Hi there. Alright. Creature communicator. Hello. What kind of creature are you? My friends call me Yeti. Also, I have no friends. Will you be my friend? I think friends come naturally. I don't just make friends with anyone who asks. Be my friend. Whoa. Okay, then. How are you today? I burn with the fury of 500 million suns. Do you want to talk about it? Actually, no. I'm perfectly content. Can't complain. You're polar and bipolar. It looks, <laughs> it looks like you don't have a whole lot of hair. I'm very sensitive about my bareness. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't have any hair myself. Well, that's a nice thing to say, but I don't need comfort. What I need is hair. Sorry, I just don't have fond memories of when my hair was shaved off. I'd pay you a dye that I found in a board game box if you get me my hair back. Interesting trade. Which board game? It's called Learning to Shave. Terrible game. What's the smoke detector for? It's so that hotheads won't come in and melt all the ice. I hate hotheads. That's some first-class hypocrisy right there. You've got an ice place here! Was that a pun? Yes. Um, I think I made him angry. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that face was. Communicate with you later. I've been able to negotiate with a good many snowmen in my time. I give a snowman the honor of existing. It gives me back a smile. Now that I think about it, that's a really lopsided deal. Noisy smoke detectors are good reasons not to smoke. You know, maybe I could bring Zack in here and just completely melt this entire place. I don't know, I feel like it might be possible. Looks like the room next to this card reader is currently locked. Okay, well I need a key card. Is that a sunrise or a sunset? I'm never too good at figuring these things out. When someone asks me if a glass of water is half full or half empty, I just push the glass over. Oh, here's, uh, here's Fred. Phil! Fred! It's great to see you got out of, uh, wherever you were. I haven't had the same luck with finding a way to this dump. Dump is right, you really got the shaft with this room. I really think the people who put us in here just took a bathroom and added an extra wall. Anyways, I'd really love to get out of here, but I can't do that by myself, so... I'll get you out, we can make it a team effort. Yep, since there's a lot I can do behind a wall of extremely dense glass... Okay, so it'll be more like what children's television shows consider a team effort. Sounds like a party to me. I was in a mattress store once and they were selling pillows filled with porcupine quills. It's always a silly moment when you discover one part of a room is colder than the rest, and you don't realize you're standing under an air vent. Sank and sunk are two of the dumbest past tense verbs to appear in the English language. I'd like to have a word with whoever made those words. Mirrors are used for many different purposes. I find the most practical use to be making faces. Um, okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do with the, the sink here. Urinal? A urinal. A degrading system of pu publicly relieving oneself that has no reason to exist. Uh, okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else I can click on. Actually, exquisite bedding. I'm never comfortable in bed until I have to get up. Uh, there's like this gigantic stain on the floor, but it doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. So, Fred. Yep. This room looks familiar. Familiar how? Does it look a lot like your jail room? A little, but what I really meant is, it looks like a school restroom. Yep, that makes me feel so much better. How are you today? Not terrible, could be better. Alrighty then. Have you decided on any potential future careers? I'd like to do something for the world, but I don't think I'd be great with medicine. Maybe you could be a psychiatrist. LOL! Raffle! Seriously though. I've got nothing. You know what the code for your door's dial pad is? Snaz. What? I'm pretty sure the password is Snaz. But it can't be Snaz, it's only numbers. Really? I guess this paper I found was useless. I'm not joking, though. Here, maybe it means something to you. Snaz. Oh. 51702. I think that's what it's saying. Okay. Um. So I think that's that's his, uh, that's the passcode for his dial pad. But it looks like Fred's dial pad is completely missing, though. I saw a kangaroo slay a dragon on the way here. I saw a rainbow rhinoceros using butterflies to take a vacation to the sun. I saw a sentient daffodil that was allergic to itself and it used its molten muscles to cook. I saw Saturn's ring up close and it's really an everlasting spiral staircase that spits up stardust. I saw a kumquat giving birth to a speeding ticket shaped like a constipated gopher. Shoot, I'm never gonna win this game. See you later. Alright, yeah, dial pad slot. There should be a dial pad here, but there's not. I wonder where it could be. Label, whistles make great sleeping pills. Fred Whistler. Um... The glue poster? Try your new deluxe poster glue. Advertising fail. 
Okay, well, there's nothing else I can do in this room right now, I don't think, so... I guess last but not least, we'll go down to, uh, the second basement floor. Go even deeper into the depths of, uh, Zone 5.1. This bubble sign thing reminds me of how much I love being stuck in the middle of nowhere. Stars aren't really gigantic dots. Or, aren't really dots, they're gigantic gyrostatic gaseous galactic gravity globes. Alright, that was quite an, alli an alliteration right there. Who the heck is this? Machness monster. It's a messy sign. How ironic that it's actually quite clean. Why do I want this? I don't even know. Alright, I have a hoes. Where should I put the start of the hoes? Uh, I think there's a better place to put this. Okay, no. So I can't- I can't combine it with anything. Let's talk to Messi here. Good day. What do you want? So, do you go by Messi? That's what everybody in this stupid landfill calls me. It's extra frustrating because I can't tell if they're saying my name or calling me a messy animal. Yeah, I guess it could go either way with you. Sheesh, you're almost as bad as they are. How are you today? I- I pretty much feel like eating my whole body starting with my head. Does that mean you're angry or you're hungry? I'm homesick and I'm sick of my home. This place is a freaking toilet hole for crying out loud. That's not even a metaphor. I sometimes get taken out taken out of it so the agents can flush the water. How can you blame them? It's messy water! Bald-headed nuisance kid. How old are you? I turned 66 billion 145,932 today. Okay, so you predate the universe itself. Wow, that's a lot of birthdays. Oh, but my birthdays bite. Nobody ever celebrates them. On my birthday nine years ago, I was stolen and forced to live in this pathetic excuse for a lake. Well, happy birthday. Thanks, I'll be looking forward to spending the rest of my life in this dumpy bathtub. Where did you used to live before you were put in here? I used to live somewhere that I could live, Mockmess Lake. It was a large lake. I found food on my own and observed the steady course of nature around me. Every day was interesting because of the countless tourists inspecting the area. Not to mention I had a lot of friends in Mockmess, both in the lake bed and out of the water. I long to go back, but it's a lost hope, and there's no lost and found here. Well, not unless you count this puddle. I keep everything I find here before it gets flushed away. Who knows, I might be able to help you. What's down there? Here's some card thing that an agent dropped one time while feeding me. It says power room on it, so I would assume it opens a room with access to power. But if it's mislabeled and you get crushed into a powder or run over by a motor, don't whine to me. Right, I'll keep that in mind, I guess. Rumors have been floating around that you're just a log. You know that photograph of me that's been blown out of proportion? The black and white one? It really is just a picture of a log. Can I have your hat? Uh, no. My hat is the only comfort I have. Not to mention it covers my bald spot. Alright, beat it, bowling ball brain. Alright, fine then, screw you, buddy. Alright, well, we got the power room access card, but before we... I, I can probably use that on that uh, room on uh, floor B1, but let's go in here first. Uh, guard door? Sorry to intrude. Sorry, you're an intruder. If only I was connected to an alarm system, I could end you right now. I don't mean to spread trouble. I don't mean to spread trouble. I'm actually trying to get out of it. Do you mind keeping your mouth open so I can enter the room you're guarding? Ha! My teeth could turn you into coleslaw before you could get through me. I'm not the only one who would like to come in, though. I plan to bring all my friends here, too. Your three human friends? The ones that are trapped? I'd like to see them even get here. That would be worth a laugh. Actually, I'd get majorly ticked off if that happened. Don't get any bright ideas. Too late. Alright, well, we're gonna go in and rescue them then, uh, wait, there's a manhole. Manhole's a great word to shout as a meaningless insult. Uh, wait, is there anything I could, I could do here with the manhole out of curiosity? Uh, no. There's, I'm not gonna do anything with the hose right now. Alright, so, in that case, how about we try going back up to floor B1 and try using the, uh, key card here. Card reader? Okay, we can go in. Screen, error. Do not press... Press any key to do nothing for you are screwed. Bouncing lions. Those are the worst ones. I can't just sit still waiting in a bouncing lion. If you look at the word sphere for too long, you start wondering if it's spelled correctly. Pipeline shifter. Notes to selves. The pipeline system will not function unless the center pipe is this one. This is because we haven't called the nearest plumber. 555 pipe down. We need to buy a phone. Flush command. Looks like something is supposed to fit into that hole. Wait, flusher handle? An uncannily perfect fit. I don't want to flush Messi into the trash chute, I'm nicer than that. The way the pipes are arranged, I'd literally be throwing Messi out with the bath water. Okay, the pipeline system will not function unless the center pipe is this one. Now, can I change this? Oh, I can. Okay. Well, I have to try and get Messi back into, uh, into Mock Mess Lake, right? So I have to try and, uh, change this up, somehow. Alright, so how exactly am I, uh... Am I gonna do that? This does appear to be, like, some sort of puzzle. Uh, no, I don't want to put you in the trash chute. I have to try and find a way to, like, yeah, like, put this over here. Oh, wait, actually... Well, I don't know if I already... if I already 
figured it out. The pipes aren't aligned correctly. Um, okay. Yeah, so... Thinking that, uh... Okay, well, this this isn't gonna work. Maybe I can move this down over here. Yeah, I understand that it's not gonna not gonna lead to there, but hang on a second. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure something out here. Just just hold your horses. Just hold your gosh darn horses. Um, okay, actually, I don't think that's that's going to work at all. Um, this might take me a little while to figure out, guys. Just just give me a moment here. Okay, guys, I think I figured it out. I'm pretty sure it took me uh, <laughs> took me a lot longer than it should have, but I think I figured it out. So pipe right here, then it makes a little bit of a loop, and then it just goes right out to Mock Mess Lake. So let's flush this. Alright, let's see where, where Messi travels to. Yeah, we're gonna flush him, but don't worry, you're gonna go back to your natural habitat. Unfortunately, you're not gonna have your top hat, but still, you'll be free, finally. See, he's happy now. Alright, well, at least that's been taken care of. That took me way too long. Guard door. Press button to switch guard door. Power on, off. Green is on, red is off. Okay, that that cannot be as simple as that. No, there's got to be some sort of, some some something something isn't right about this. It can't just be easy as as pressing a button. But I mean, he is off now. Well, actually, no. He can't he can't be off because then we're not going to be able to get through the door because his teeth aren't going to open up. No, so I can't be able to do that. What is this other screen? I would play that if there was a game controller in this room. However, sadly, there is not. Um, well, okay then. I don't see anything else that I could possibly do in this room. Can I click on these buttons down down here? No, absolutely nothing. Okay then. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll keep it off just to see what changed at all. Um, and also try to find that, uh, that, that keypad as well for, for Fred. Um, how about we go back to B2 for a moment, and just, just see what changed. The door's power's off, but it's not open. Now that's just great. Yeah, see, so it can't be... It cannot be as simple as that. There's gotta be... Gotta be something... Something here that I'm, that I'm doing wrong. In the meantime, though, how about we go at... How about we go back to, uh, Messi's room here. Now that, now that he's gone. I can take his top hat. Alright. I'm not escaping the same way Messi did. He could get flushed because he's an aquatic dinosaur. Rapidly tumbling through miles and miles of water-filled pipes wouldn't be good for my health. Does this hat fit your taste? It is a nice hat, but only that. I find it not to be a fancy enough hat to wear. The hat needs to be fancier to tickle your fancy. Got it. I just realized I didn't talk to Smiley again after coming into this room the first time. Let's try talking to her again. Yeah. Why do you have hair again? I got bored and curious, so I put on hairspray. How did you tie it into a ponytail? That's a good question. How are you today? I'm thankful to be back on Earth. So it doesn't bother you that you just got abducted by another Space Age Corporation? Well, yeah, but I prefer to have an optimistic mindset. I'm more of a distant optimist myself. I think the light at the end of the cave is guarded by snakes. That really doesn't sound even remotely positive. Your prison cell looks a lot nicer than mine. How so? Well, it's brighter, for one thing. And mine didn't have a fancy mirror or bathroom stall. Stalls are pretty typical in girls' restrooms. Wait, really? I've been missing out. You know what the code for your door's dial pad is? 51333. Nice, how do you know that? The agent who locked me in here mumbled the code out loud to himself as he dialed it in. Well, see what I can do. Can I have your hairspray? Are you planning on growing hair? Oh, no, I like being bald. I just think the hairspray will help us escape. If you could hand it to me through the slot in the cell door, that'd be great. Interesting. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Alright. So, I got hairspray. I can't, I can't use it on myself. Um, okay, so what exactly... What exactly could I use this on then? Yeah, 51333, but the only problem is that this, the, the three right here on the dial pad is missing. And I need to go and find it, but I don't know where it is. Okay, well now that I have the hairspray, I have an idea. Yeti said that he wanted hair, right? What if I give him the hairspray? Oh, okay, he just takes it from me. Here we go. You want a set of hair? Oh, okay. He's just, he's just covered in fur now. What the heck is going on? Okay, you gave me a dice block. Well, yeah, okay, a game die. Out of curiosity, can I combine this with absolutely anything? No, I can't. Alright, and, uh, are you enjoying having hair? Hair is the single greatest thing that's ever happened to the universe. I'll take that as a yes. Alright, still don't know what the smoke detectors, uh, could possibly be used for. I don't know, let's just, out of curiosity, no. Okay. So, what exactly do I, do I do with this game die, then? I have no clue.
Oh, okay. So I, what, what I was kind of thinking was that uh, I could actually uh, put the, the die in the uh, the missing uh, keypad right here, like the missing the missing key. All right, so turn it to the three side, and now we can probably put the code in. Yeah, all right. Well, Smiley, Smiley's out. Thanks, what's next? I think it would be a good idea to get everyone to gather at the lowest point of this building. Gotcha, I'll be right down. All right, so at least we have Smiley out of here now. Pillow is a cool word. I like to visualize sinks as blob-like creatures with huge mouths and droopy pro proboscises. I don't even know what that word is. Um, okay. Please wash your hands before escaping. I always find it degrading when someone tells me to wash my paws. Don't compare me to any four-legged fur balls that poop on the ground. Okay, well, um, we, we rescued Smiley at the very least, but now we have to go and try to find a way to, to rescue Zack and, and Fred. Hmm. I wonder... This seems like a good spot, but where should the spout end go? Huh. Okay, so I can I can uh, attach this to uh, the chlorophyll, the drink dispenser. Where exactly should this go, though? Because I'm not entirely sure. The trash? Yeah. Okay, that works. Let's let's see what happens. Fill up the fill up the trash can with it. Oh, okay. Because that that leads down into the uh, into the goat man's room. All right, so now he has some actual grass that he can uh, that he can eat. All right, very good indeed. So in that case, how about we go back down and uh, and talk to him, see if he says anything new, possibly. How are you doing? There you go, guy. Om nom nom, delicious green grass. Oh yes, I'm gonna leave you alone now. All right, so does he does he say absolutely nothing now? Yeah, I I, I guess I can't talk to him anymore. All right. Well, at least uh, at least we helped him out. Uh, Daisy, that Daisy be- that Daisy might be useful, I should go over there and pick it. Put one foot in this green grass and you'll feel the wrath of a thousand rams. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, so I mean at least- at least we helped him out. But it doesn't seem like we can do, uh, anything else. Oh, okay, never mind. I was able to pick the, uh, the Daisy right here, guys. The one that was closest to the ladder. This is the only flower I can stop and smell without stepping on the precious grass. Okay, well I have a Daisy now. Um... Okay then, I think this daisy lacks the proper decorative flair that would make this hat look fancier. Okay, so I can't combine that with, with the top head then, okay, fine. I'll, th I'll think of something here. Oh, here we go. Let's light the daisy on fire. Uh, uh, choo! Okay, well he did spontaneously combust. Oh wait, that actually freed Zack as well. I have mixed feelings about that escape. You're welcome. Oh hey, would you mind following me for a while? Well, I would mind, but you're smart, so I'm sure there's a significant purpose to having me follow you. Great, glad you agree. But I'm afraid you can't enter any rooms with smoke detectors. I'll be content as long as I get to burn something. Okay, well, I have Zack with me now. Oh yeah, he's following me. Okay. So I just had to make Zack sneeze. Yeah, right, when he sneezed, he spontaneously combusted, so that freed him from the ropes. Alright, well, at least Zack is out here now, but we need to... We actually need to, like, ha bring him with us. We have to, like, use him for something. Uh, not entirely sure what, though. Uh, I don't know. Zach, could you burn this- can you burn this wood down? Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. You're free to go now. You can just leave. Oh, wow. Okay, he just flew out of the building already. That was- that was quick. Uh, feathers? Yeah, we can bring this. Uh, can we combine this with the top hat? Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, we're making some progress now, guys. Now, let's, uh, go back and actually show that to, uh to Big Toe here. Maybe maybe he'll fancy uh, a top hat with feathers on it? Or is it still not fancy enough for him? Let's go and see. No, it seems like it is fancy enough for him. And he gives me a calculator? Oh no, it's a, a dial pad. Or a diap lad, as the game says. Okay, well, in that case, we can go and rescue Fred now. We can put the, uh, the dial pad back. Uh, where, where was Fred again? Was he on B1? Uh, yeah, he was. Okay, put the dial pad back. And, uh, what was, what was your, uh, dial, dial pad code again? Well, actually, I already know what it is. It was Snaz. It was 51, it was 51702, I think. So, there we go. Freed Fred. Very nice. Cool. Now what? Smiley and Zack are waiting for us on the bottom floor of this building. Awesome. So how do we get there? Just go out the door and there'll be an elevator in plain sight. Down I go, then. I can't- I'll tell you if I can't find it. 
Right, so now we, uh, we freed Fred. So, could we just leave now? I don't really know. But, I guess we'll just go to the, uh, the bottom floor now and attempt to leave if we can. Yeah, let's just go through here. Well, I, no, this is the wrong, wrong place. It's, it's over here now. Okay, yeah, so the guard door. When we have four people, my friends seem to all have accidentally stumbled out of their heavily secured confinement cells. We were hoping to have a picnic in the room behind you. Care to let us in? Wait, all of you escaped? Seriously? Error 001, that is something I cannot comprehend. Error 002, I wish you all a happy new year. Error 003, something in binary that I can't read, but I could probably translate. Run psychoticfrenzy.exe, berserker. What the heck? Okay. Um, while its teeth is open, I don't think I possess the agility necessary to dive through those chomping teeth. Okay, hang on a second. Because I think now, I can go back to, uh, B1 right here. And now I think I can shut him off, actually. Yeah, just wait for the right time. There we go. So now I think we can get through, now that he is turned off. Alright, let's just go back down. And now let's see if we can go through. Yep, here we go. Game saved. Okay, why are we saving the game? What what's what's about to go down? What is about to go down here that that you decided to save the game? What the heck is all of this, Diz? Okay, what the heck are they doing to you? Call it a long shot, but I think this machine might be reading Diz's mind. It looks like it's retrieving data regarding vision. Kind of a drastic method to gain information about a dead project. Vision was a scheme concocted by the psychotic alien dictator, Viz. He started this project to essentially destroy the whole universe. Planet Earth would be destroyed had I not found a way to stop the maniac. Viz got a taste of his own poison, and the project Vision died with him. Wonder if the researchers of Zone 5.1 realize this. No matter, I came here to free Diz. And even though this journey through injustice will all be a pleasant memory, I don't think I read that correctly, but whatever, we need to try and free Diz here. Looks like there's a hole here that's just big enough for a small, bizarrely shaped object. The creature communicator. There we go. Contraption. Uh, don't know what this is. Contraption, 7 minus 0. Well, is 7. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Okay. Uh, let me just look at everything first. That kind of looks like a whirlpool in a polluted bay. Doesn't appear that I can do anything with this yet. Okay. This machine is apparently a mind-reading device. I hate to be inside one of these. My brain's baffled enough as it is without technology tapping into it. Vision ended when Viz was defeated. So why are there plans here from a dead program? That's a picture of the Vision ship we rode in before we ended up here. That liquid is too bright blue to be water. Maybe it's an energy drink. Whatever's in this tube, it's probably not a good idea to swim in. Looks like information's being collected about Vision. Okay, so let's let's figure this out here. What is this? Oh, wait, I think I need to match the shape of this, I think. Yeah, the, the, the shape on top. Okay. Um, this doesn't seem too complicated, actually. Because I think, okay, so I think for the first, the first tile right here, we need to have a, a black triangle, and then for the, okay, well, this one right over here just needs to be a square, a, a, a white square. Then I think we need to do that for, for this tile, and then I think for this tile we need maybe this direction? Okay, yeah, we're, we're making something here, guys. Hang on a second, this doesn't doesn't seem too overly complicated. Uh, I don't think that's correct. Uh, I don't think... That, that doesn't exactly seem correct either. Uh, hang on a second, I can't really tell what I'm supposed to make here on the bottom part. Oh wait, actually, no, I think, I think I am making, I think I am doing that correctly for the bottom one. Okay, it'll just take a little while to figure out. I think, possibly, for this tile, I just need to make it all black. Uh, this one, I think, needs to be all black as well. Uh, this one, this part needs to be black. This part right here needs to be black as well. Uh, this bottom part right here has to be, this needs to be a completely black square. Uh, this part can be... Well, just just like that. Hang on a second. I think I'm getting the pattern down here, guys. I think I'm getting the pattern down. And, uh, we need to, like, form some sort of white triangle with this. Um... Yeah, it looks exactly like the shape. Let's go. 
Did that work? Yeah, it did. Okay, what about this contraption right here? Because I don't exactly know what this is. 7 minus 0, 8 minus 2, and 6 minus 6. I don't, I don't really understand what this is. Hang on a second. Um... Well, I mean, the tiles light up blue, but what exactly am I, am I supposed to do here? Oh, maybe I actually have to write the solution using the tiles. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, that is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, seven. And then, well, I could easily do the zero. I think I just need to do this. Yeah, there we go. And then eight minus two, which is six. So I, I know how to how to do this right here. Um, like this. Okay, actually, no, this is uh, this is not it. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Let's try this one first. Okay. I need to turn all the dots white. Yeah, I think that's what it's telling me to do. Okay. So, when I click on this one, it turns these two white. When I click on this, it turns those two white. Turns all three of these white when I click on the bottom left one. And turns these two white when I hit on the, uh... When I, when I click on the, the bottom right one. Uh, okay. Well, let me, let me just think about this here for a moment. Uh... Let's see here. Well, there's one way I could I could have one of these lit up as white, like the bottom right white, and then I could click on this one to turn the three black ones white. All right, but I have to try and get just this one right here to light up. So let's let's see how I could how I could accomplish this. Here we go. I got it. There. All right, so that one's done. And, uh, this is about to get freed. Hang on a second, I just need one more thing. Okay, just need to have the two triangles in the center light up. Okay, how do, how do I do this here? Okay. So these are, like, triangles. Okay, yeah, so when I click on one of them, they get, they get light up as blue. Alright. So, yeah, it seems like there's an entire, there's an entire triangle that gets lit up right here. Alright. I'll just try and figure, figure this out here. Oh, jeez, okay, this, this is... Probably gonna get a little bit complicated, but hang on. Maybe I'll figure this out quickly without without really trying. I don't know. Give me a, give me a moment here. There we go. I got it. All right. I was I was mostly just clicking randomly, but I still managed to get it. I I was kind of thinking on that one though. I was kind of thinking. Okay, so can I just free Diz now? Yeah, it seems like I can. It just starts a cutscene immediately. Alright, so get that mind control device off his head. Now we just have to free him from the shackles. Okay, which we didn't actually see happen, but we'll assume it happened. It looks like everyone here is... Everyone's here and accounted for, and everything at that. I still have the remote to the ship. Now, marvelous hero, lead the way! Our freedom awaits us. Okay, so now we just need to... We need to go, then. We need to go back to, uh... I think... Wait, where where was the the ship again? No, it was on floor F1 actually. Yeah, it was over here. Yep, yeah, just get out of here. It's probably not going to be easy. No, no, it's it's closing because of course it is. Diz, wait up. I'm sorry, but there is no time. You'll have to find another exit. Okay, fine. Fine then. So this is just going to abandon us. Okay, well, I assume we escaped. Uh he escaped, I mean, this way. Okay. So, everything, everything's all red now. Uh, oh wait, we just went down to B2 immediately? Oh, we have to go in the manhole? Okay, we can open this up now. Okay, so we're going underground. They'll never find us. Yeah, you guys don't know where I am, or where we are. Or where I am, specifically. Wait, is that it? Oh. That's the end of part one. Okay, well, I do know that there is a second riddle transfer game, but I guess it just it just ends immediately after we do that. Okay, well, there you go, guys. That's that's the end of uh, the first riddle transfer game. I guess we can go and see what the uh, the special features are really quickly, though. And see see what exactly what we unlocked. Special features: thought process behind riddle transfer one, frequently asked riddle school questions, lovely reviews for the riddle school games. Uh, Okay, well, not really anything that I care about, honestly, so... There you go, guys. That's it for the first Riddle Transfer game. But that was a little bit of a, of a cliffhanger ending, though. We escaped into a manhole, but... 
after that, the game just ended. So I guess in the next game, we'll figure out where exactly uh, Phil and his friends headed off to. And we can finally finish up this series, because Riddle Transfer 2 is the very last Riddle School game, or I guess game in the Riddle School series, even though it's not part of the main Riddle School games. So this story isn't done just yet, guys. There's just one more game that we have to complete, and then we will finally be done with the Riddle School games and the Riddle Transfer games. We can finally put this, this entire series to rest. It all ends finally in the next Riddle Transfer game, guys. So until then, if you want to play the first Riddle Transfer game, the link is in the description. And sometime next week, we'll finally begin our playthrough of Riddle Transfer 2 and finally put an end to this this very long story. Not like I uh, I didn't enjoy playing the Riddle School games, but there's just there's a lot of games in this series. But I mean I have really enjoyed it up to this point, so I can't wait to see how uh, how this series concludes. We'll find out in the next game though. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make later. Call it a long shot, but I think this machine might be reading. This is my end. Uh <laughs>